In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make an image appear as if it is flying apart like you see here. I'll be using GIMP version 2.6. This is the image that I'll be starting with. The first thing to do is to add an alpha channel to the image if it does not have one already. An alpha channel will allow you to make parts of the image transparent. To add an alpha channel, just right click on the background layer here and choose add alpha channel. If you already have an alpha channel then this option will be grayed out. The next step is to delete the background. This will be very easy to do with this image since the background is a solid color. I can just choose the select by color tool and then click on the gray area here and press the delete key. This checkerboard area in the background means that this area is now transparent. You can turn off the selection now by going to the Select menu and choosing None. Now add a separate layer that will be used as the background. So press the Create New Layer button. I want the background to be white, so I'll select white for the color fill type. Press OK. Now move the new layer to the bottom by pressing this green down arrow key. Now we want to duplicate the image. So select the layer with the image and press the duplicate button. Make sure that the top layer is selected and then right click on the layer and select alpha to selection. This will select our image since the background for this layer is transparent. We want to increase the size of this image, so we can use the Scale tool, which is this button. After pressing the button, move the cursor over the image and click on it. We now have handles that we can use to resize the image. Grab the handle on the right and drag it over to increase the width of the image. Also, grab the handle on the top and pull it up and press the scale button when you're done. This larger image is placed on a floating selection. Press the anchor button to anchor this layer. This larger image is going to be used for the pieces of the image that are flying apart. For now, we want this image to be transparent. We can accomplish this by adding a layer mask. A layer mask allows us to selectively determine which parts of the image that we would like to be transparent. The image will be transparent wherever the layer mask is black and the image will be opaque wherever the layer mask is white. To add a layer mask, right click on the layer and select Add Layer Mask. Click on Black Full Transparency. This will make the entire image that is on this layer transparent. Now press the Add button to add the layer mask. You'll notice that we now have a black square right here, which is the layer mask that we just added. Since the entire layer mask is black, our large image is now fully transparent. And now, go down to the second layer and select that, and then select the Eraser tool. And then for the brush, Click on this button and select the brush down here at the bottom that should be with every GIMP and this one is called Vine. Make sure that your opacity is set to 100% and I have the scale set to 1 and the scale that you'll use depends upon the size of your image and make sure that all of these boxes here are unchecked. And now go over to the image and start deleting pieces of the image using this eraser tool. This will give the appearance that part of this image is breaking away. And now we want to add the pieces that are breaking away. So go up here to the top layer and click on this black square if you remember, this black square is our layer mask. And when you click on it, it should be surrounded by this white frame here which shows that the layer mask is selected instead of the layer itself. And now with the eraser tool still selected, 
we're going to start erasing part of the mask which will allow the larger image that we have to show through. For this to work properly, you need to make sure that this background color that's displayed right here is white. And now just come over here and start clicking and wherever you click this will change the mask to opaque instead of transparent and let that larger image show through. So just click around wherever you would like the pieces that are broken away to be displayed. And you might notice on these broken away pieces that there's some little lines right here that are displayed in various places. And this is because the brush that we were using was the vine brush and it creates a vine with leaves on it. So to get rid of these lines you can go up to the colors tool and select threshold. Since the lines that we were trying to get rid of are just a shade of gray on the layers mask, this threshold will separate all of the colors into just black and white and it will get rid of those lines. So press OK. And now we want to soften the edges just a little bit around the outside of these pieces that are broken away. So you can do that by going up to the filters menu, select blur and Gaussian blur and we just need a little bit of blurring so I'm going to set this horizontal and vertical values to two pixels. Press OK and now we're almost done. The next thing to do is go to the middle layer and select that and we're going to add a wind effect and to do that go over to the filters menu select distorts and wind then set the style to wind the direction to left and edge affected to leading and the values that you use here depends upon the size of the image and so you'll want to experiment a little bit but three works well for this image for both threshold and strength then press OK and this adds the appearance of wind along the front edge of this image here and also along the back edge of it. So that's how to use GIMP to make this interesting effect. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.